statistics given by the assemblymen for the affected areas indicate that a total of 185 houses have been submerged in the recent disaster, while 55 homes have also been severely affected in the Agaveji electoral area alone. About 1,000 people, mostly fisherfolk, are currently homeless. Some have lost their valuable documents to the sea. As narrated by the assemblymen, officials of the National Disaster Management Organization visited the areas a few days ago and collected data on the disaster, but are yet to provide any support to the people. More than half of a popular beach resort close to Fort Presenstein in Keta, called Emancipation Beach, has been submerged by the sea. The assemblyman for the Agaveji electoral area, Mr. Eben Ansa, says in July 2021, the Minister for Works and Housing came to them and promised that by December, government would develop the area, but that promise has not materialized. Some of the residents blame the behavior of the sea in that area on a salt mining company at Adina, the Seven Seas Salt Limited, which taps seawater through a canal it has created and linked to the sea. Meanwhile, the member of parliament for Ketu South, Madame Jefa Gomashi, has expressed her sympathies to those affected by the tidal waves in the area and promised to visit them soon.